every Filipino alive today can trace their roots back to one woman who lived in Africa nearly 200,000 years ago. When we talk about ancestry, we often think of grandparents or maybe great-grandparents. But science tells us something astonishing. If we go far enough back, every single human alive today, Filipino, American, African, European, Asian, shares one maternal ancestor. Scientists call her mitochondrial Eve. She wasn't the first woman, nor was she the only woman alive in her time. She was simply the one whose maternal line survived unbroken. Around 150,000 to 200,000 years ago in Africa, she carried the mitochondrial DNA that would be passed down, generation after generation, to every human alive today. And yes, that includes every Filipino. From the Eta and Ati in the mountains to modern city dwellers in Manila or Cebu, the story of mitochondrial Eve lives within them all. Mitochondrial Eve was not the first woman, and she certainly wasn't the only woman alive in her time. Instead, she is the most recent woman from whom all living humans today inherit their mitochondrial DNA. The tiny genetic code found in our cells' powerhouses passed only from mother to child. This means if you trace your mother's line and her mother's line and so on, you eventually reach one woman who lived in Africa about 150,000 to 200,000 years ago. Her daughters spread across the continent and their descendants carried her genetic legacy forward while other maternal lines eventually faded. This doesn't make her special in the sense of being chosen or unique at her time. Rather, she is the one whose maternal line endured without interruption. Why do scientists focus so much on mitochondrial DNA? Unlike the DNA in the cell's nucleus, which comes from both parents, mitochondrial DNA comes only from the mother. Fathers do not pass it on. This creates an unbroken maternal chain that can be traced back through thousands of generations. By comparing mutations, tiny natural changes, scientists can estimate how far back all humans share a common maternal ancestor. That line of evidence points to mitochondrial Eve, a woman who lived in Africa roughly 200,000 years ago. Her legacy is not about being the first, but about being the line that endured. It's a reminder that every human alive carries the same spark of maternal ancestry, no matter where in the world they live. Around 60,000 to 70,000 years ago, some of mitochondrial Eve's descendants left Africa and began one of the greatest journeys in human history. Following coastlines, they spread into the Middle East, India, Southeast Asia, and eventually across the entire world. Genetic studies show that early humans reached as far as Australia by at least 50,000 years ago. Southeast Asia, including what would one day become the Philippines, was a crucial stepping stone in this migration. These travelers carried with them the same mitochondrial DNA, meaning that even in the earliest days of human expansion, the genetic legacy of mitochondrial Eve flowed into the islands of the Pacific. The Philippines is more than just a recipient of these ancient migrations. It is one of the earliest lands where their footprints remain. In Calau Cave, Luzon, scientists discovered a human foot bone over 67,000 years old, belonging to what is now called Homo luzonensis. This shows that humans, close relatives of those who left Africa, were already thriving in the islands tens of thousands of years ago. Meanwhile, groups like the Aeta, Ati, and Agta preserve some of the oldest surviving genetic lineages in Asia direct echoes of humanity's first migrations. Their mitochondrial DNA connects them to the earliest waves of humans moving through Southeast Asia, making the Philippines a living archive of the story that began with mitochondrial Eve. Thousands of years later, another great migration reshaped the world, the Austronesian expansion. Originating near Taiwan and the Philippines about 5,000 years ago, Austronesians became the greatest seafarers of the ancient world. They sailed from the Philippines across the vast Pacific, reaching Hawaii, New Zealand, and Easter Island. Others sailed west, reaching as far as Madagascar off the coast of Africa. Filipino ancestors were at the very heart of this expansion. Through mitochondrial DNA, scientists can trace the maternal lines that link Polynesians, Malagasy people, 
and many Pacific Islanders back to Southeast Asia. This means that the story of mitochondrial Eve stretches like a golden thread from Africa to the Philippines and from the Philippines across half the globe. Today, Filipinos carry within their DNA the story of humanity itself. Indigenous groups hold some of the oldest maternal lineages in Asia, while modern Filipinos also carry the heritage of the Austronesian voyagers who connected half the world. This dual legacy makes the Philippines a bridge between humanity's African origins and its global presence. When we say every Filipino descends from mitochondrial Eve, we acknowledge that their story is not isolated, but woven into the fabric of the entire human race. Filipinos are part of the deep history of humanity, proof that the journey of one woman in Africa echoes all the way to the islands of the Pacific. Mitochondrial Eve reminds us that no matter our nationality, race or culture, we are all connected by a single thread of ancestry. For Filipinos, that connection is especially powerful because their islands are both ancient waypoints of humanity's first journeys and launch pads for one of history's greatest seafaring expansions. The Philippines is not just a chapter in its own history, it is a chapter in the story of all humankind. Every Filipino carries within them the living memory of mitochondrial Eve, proof that from Africa to Asia to the Pacific, we are one human family. To bend, to adapt, and to spread across the world is what humans do and the Filipino story is one of the clearest reminders of that truth.